You may have noticed over the recent few years since Avast bought AVG that it's come with a lot more bloatware installed with it and they often try and give you like the hard sell wanting you to upgrade to the professional version or add a VPN or um, add on add-ons to your browser which you don't necessarily need to be quite honest with you. Now AVG is a fantastic free and uh, paid for antivirus but what I don't like is I don't like the extra bloat that they've added on to it recently. So this guide shows you how to download and install AVG with less bloat. You can't get rid of everything but it shows you how to download just the, the minimal amount of tools that you need to protect your computer. So I'm going to show you this on a Windows 10 PC and I'm going to download the uh, free version of AVG using Google Chrome, but you can use the browser of your choice. So I'm just gonna go into Google Chrome just by double clicking on the icon on the desktop. And then once it's loaded, I go to the address bar right at the very top of the screen, just up here. Left click once in there, and then press the delete or backspace key to delete out anything that may be in there. Then I type avg.com. That's avg.com, no spaces, and all in lowercase. Then press enter or return on your keyboard to continue. This page should now load. Move your mouse over the green free download button in the center of the page and left click once. Once it's downloaded, as we can see here, it's now downloaded. So I'm just gonna close the browser down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then I'm gonna go into the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen there or if I haven't got a yellow folder down there, click on the start button just in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and click on the folder just up here, mark documents. Then on the left hand side of the screen, move your mouse over downloads and left click once. Then you should see somewhere in downloads, AVG underscore antivirus underscore free underscore setup. Move your mouse over this and double left click this. It will then come up, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says AVG Antivirus and the verified publisher is AVG Technologies USA Inc. and the file origin says hard drive or on this computer, then just move your mouse over the yes and left click once. The installation will now start. Just be patient with this. And then eventually you'll see this screen appear. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that we untick yes, install AVG secure browser. So just move your mouse over the box just to the left of that, remove the tick. Then we need to move our mouse over the word customize, just below install, left click once. Then move your mouse over the arrow just to the right of recommended protection and left click once. And then move your mouse over minimal protection and left click once. Now. That will make sure that we've got the absolute basic protection there. So we, we, we've got enough to cover most computers, to be quite honest with you. File Shield, Behavioral Shield and Web Shield should be perfectly adequate. Or if you wanted to add extra protection, you can pick and choose. Like say, for instance, you wanted Email Shield, then you could click Email Shield. If you wanted Ransomware Shield, you could click that as well. But I'll be honest with you, I mean, if you're using Webmail, then Email Shield is totally ineffective anyway. And anything you download via email, when you try to open like an, an attachment up from an email, then File Shield will protect you against that. If you're opening a link in an email, then Web Shield and Behavioral Shield should also protect you. So generally you're sort of doubling up on the protection there by, by um, selecting Email Shield, which is could cause you more problems potentially and could also slow your computer down. So, like I say, tick with whatever you're happy with installing. I would say as a bare minimum, I just install File Shield, Behavioral Shield and Web Shield. Then move your mouse over Install and left click once. Now this bit might take a bit of time, so it says there your AVG antivirus free installation is in progress do not turn off your computer. So just bear with this, it might take a bit of time and that green bar might look as though it's stopped from time to time, but don't worry, it usually is doing something. Just uh, walk away from the computer for a few minutes 
and uh, come back to it a bit later. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the installation. Okay, so there we go. So it's come to the end of the installation. It might take a little bit longer. We're just waiting now for this box to disappear. And there we go, it's come round to the second pass and it's disappeared now. Hopefully in a few seconds, we should have the AVG window appear on screen. Again, it might look as though it's not doing anything for a while, but please be patient, hands off your computer. Just let it do what it needs to do. Now I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna come back to it once that screen is has come up. Oh, in actual fact, it's come up. So it says you're protective. Now that you've got the world's largest threat detection network on your side, now that's something to brag about. So move your mouse over continue and left click once. And then it's saying here, if any threats are hiding on your computer, we'll remove them, trust us. We've got decades of experience doing this, so it says run first scan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the cross just up here on the top right hand corner of the screen uh, because of a scan is going to take a little while and I just need to show you something else so I'm just going to click cross up there and we'll just wait for AVG to load okay so what we need to do is we need to go up to menu just up here and left click once and then we go down to settings and again left click once and then we move our mouse over personal privacy left click once and I'm just going to take out the ticks in here so we don't want to share data with AVG, don't want to share app usage data with AVG or with third parties, and we don't want offers to be sent to us. So untick all of those, okay, and then move your mouse over close and left click once. Okay, so I'm just gonna close AVG off the screen for the moment. So move your mouse over the cross and left click once. And then as you will see here, we've got the downloads window appear. Now, if you can't see this, then all you need to do is to click on the little yellow folder down here or click on the start button and then click on the downloads or documents folder just there. And then click on the downloads folder in the left hand side and just right click on where it's got AVG underscore antivirus underscore free underscore setup and this menu will appear. Then move your mouse down to delete and left click once. And then it will say, are you sure you want to move this file to the recycle bin? Move your mouse over yes, left click once, and then move your mouse over the cross in the top right hand corner of the downloads window and left click once. And th this means that it's deleted the installation file, keeps our computer clean. And then if I go into one of our browsers, so let's just go into say Google Chrome, doesn't matter, whatever browser is, uh, is the browser that you feel is right for you. And it may come up and it may ask you about installing a extension or an add-on or a plugin. I would just ignore this, just click on the cross just up, up here and get rid of that. Again, it's extra bloat that's really not needed. If I just go into Firefox, let's see what happens when we go into Firefox. And as you can see, it wants us to add um, an add-on for AVG Online Security in Firefox. So again, I, I don't need this, so I'm just gonna click on the cross just up here to get rid of that. And if that does come up again, then uh, I say just get rid of it. And I'm just gonna try Edge, just see what happens when we go in there. And as you can see in Edge, it's also asked us to uh, install an add-on. So again, I'm just gonna click the cross just up here, just to get rid of that and close it down. Now, Internet Explorer, I haven't tried, and I haven't tried that for a reason, because Internet Explorer is old, it's outdated, no longer secure anyway. So if you wanna keep your computer secure, do not use Internet Explorer. As, uh, as I say, it's no longer being updated with any security updates anyway. So there you go. Um, if you want to go back and give uh, the computer a, a system scan now, then just double click on the AVG antivirus free icon on the desktop and then move your mouse over run smart scan and left click once. And then what it will do is it will scan through the computer for any threats, okay? So there you go, it says no browser threats found, so just click next, okay? And now it's scanning the computer for any malware. Might take a little bit of time, this, depending on how many files and programs that you've got installed on your computer. There you go, that was quite quick, no malware scanned. So click next again, 
and it's now scanning for advanced threats again. This might take a bit of time, depending on how much you've got on your computer or depending on how quick your computer is. So there you go, it's come up for mine. It says two advanced issues found. Okay, so it's saying um, your current firewall cannot completely hide your computers from hackers on a public network and you're vulnerable to fake websites. Hackers can hijack your DNS domain name system settings to redirect you from websites to fake copycat sites. This is where AVG is really trying to sell you a more uprated version of its products. Now, you can click skip for now on this. Now, I'm just gonna click resolve all just to see what happens. And I can more or less guarantee, yeah, here we go. It's just trying to sell you a subscription to AVG Internet Security. So that's really all that's there for. It's just to try and get you to pay them for a more advanced product. So as I say, I'm just gonna say skip for now. Now it's popped up, here we go. Upgrade your AVG Security free two month trial. And it's letting us say, right, okay, we can start our trial now if we click on that green start your trial. But the problem is, is the two month trial will end and we'll end up with no security whatsoever. So unless we, we pay for it, so we, we really don't want that. So what I would suggest is click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen there and just ignore that and then click skip for now. So there we go. So it says scan finished, your computer is now safer. And it's asking us, do we wanna schedule a smart scan to run once a month to help keep your computer healthy and virus free with regular scans? So yeah, keep that ticked, just click done. Okay, so it says, you're not imagining it, your PC is getting slower. It's no secret that computers get slower with time because some of your programs could be making it worse. So it's, it's again, this is another tactic they're trying to use to try and get you to buy an upgrade for AVG. So if I click sh show me here, don't do this, but it's gonna take us to a page which is gonna say, yeah, there we go. So your PC may suffer from slowdown and clutter. Get a faster, cleaner PC with AVG tune-up. So it's trying to sell us AVG tune-up, trying to get us to spend more money. I'll be honest with you, Windows 10 does a lot of cleaning itself. Every so often they will release a brand new version of Windows 10, in which case your PC gets cleaned up anyway. So to be quite honest with you, there's no point in spending more money on any cleanup or tune-up tools for Windows 10. It generally does it all for you at least once every 18 months. So I'm just gonna click on the cross in the top right hand corner here to get rid of that. And there we go, we're back to our main screen here. So you will often see suggestions down the bottom here, like it's saying at the moment, you only have a basic firewall. So it says here, this is only one of four security issues AVG has found. If I try and click resolve, just to give you an example, all it's gonna do is try and get us to upgrade to the paid for version of AVG, which I'll be honest with you, I'm quite happy with the free version, so I'm just gonna stick with the free version. Obviously, if you feel you do need more security on your computer, if you are more susceptible to, uh, to scams, then um, yeah, obviously by all means, upgrade. But please don't rest on your laurels because you've bought a, uh, a more advanced security. An antivirus can't protect you against everything. It can't protect you against your own stupidity. It can help you, perhaps not fall for scams, but it's nowhere near 100% reliable. So uh, I always say, if your gut instinct tells you that something isn't right, then don't follow it through. Don't rely on your antivirus, whoever it may be, to make that decision whether or not it's whatever you're doing is, is, uh, is kosher or not. So I'm just going to click on the cross in the top right hand corner there just to get rid of that. And uh, there you go. So we've, we've basically installed AVG free without a lot of the bloatware, without a lot of the, the, the rubbish that uh, it often comes with. And we've got the basic protection on there. So there you go. I hope this guide helps and thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech 
on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.